Ready for Christmas? Well, it's coming soon. Get excited for the big day. Woo! Let's, Let's go! go! It's Carrie and Berry. Hey, hey Carrie and Berry. I'm Carrie. I'm Berry. And it's Christmas. Yay! Over the years, we've developed a deeper love for the Christmas season. We love Christmas even more now that Vanessa has grown up more than what she was when she was a baby. Because she's at that age that everything is just wow 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 to her unfortunately people are getting caught up on the preparation of christmas too much so that they're not enjoying the festive festivities that are leading up to the big day and the actual true meaning of by the christmas. end of this video you'll be even more excited than we are <laughs> Hopefully. Plus, stick around to find out a weird fact about Christmas stockings. Oh, you want me to hold that? <sighs> right. Let us know what you think of Christmas in the comments below. A big thanks to NordVPN, the sponsors of this video. Protect your online privacy from snooping eyes today by going to nordvpn.com forward slash Kerry Berry. <laughs> we love this season. You get to have all the sparkly lights out and decorate your front room or whatever. And it just brightens up a dull room. Even when you're walking through town. Walking past a building full of pretty, colourful LED lights is so much better than them harsh fluorescent lights. I mean, mm. why aren't we surrounded in these type of lights always? I tend to think heaven is going to look like that. No fluorescent lights, LEDs everywhere. Mm. Okay, on to the next one. Yeah. Those amazing drinks at this time of year. Again, why can't we have them all the time? Why do I keep spilling mine? <laughs> I mean, you've got pumpkin light, uh, pumpkin spice latte, oh, for instance. No, gingerbread festive latte. Yeah, well, oh yeah. Um, that, gingerbread that. festive yeah. latte. Yeah, what one of my favourite. Um, you get all the mint hot chocolate, one with like after eight on it, or the sprinkle of the chocolate. Not the pumpkin spice. That's Halloween. Oh, have I got the wrong one? Have I? Yeah. The, oh. Gingerbread, <laughs> gingerbread festive. Did oh, we not say that? Oh, that's it. So you just said, didn't you? Come on. Um, mm -hmm. Also, there's other flavours in. I've started to try. What was it? Orange. Oh, I, I don't know what mm. they call it. It was some sort of orange. Chocolate orange. Chocolate orange festive. You get a little chocolate but bar with it. It's not Terry's, is it? It's it's yours. It is. Oh, forget it. You've not watched <laughs> it. Okay. okay. Uh, Joke was lost on her. Put a thumbs up in the comments if you in the like button. I mean, if you got that joke. And also, there was a uh, chocolate called Christmassy festive oh. purple one. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I hate that one. Yeah. I can't stand it. Yeah, I, I don't really it's like that. It's the worst one. of the lot, and yet everybody loves this. I purple, like the Terry. The purple one. one. So you get time off work. Woohoo! Because it's that Christmas is. Well, it depends on what type of job you're in. And you might be working overtime. Yeah. You might be working overnight. But in theory, most jobs they give you time off work. Yeah. And they pay you for it because yeah. you have to have time off work. That's great, isn't it? Everyone's stopping. Yes, life literally stops. Everything stops. Nobody works. Nobody goes out and about. Okay, well they do, but not as many people do. Is this you... Christmas Day itself? I suppose. Yeah, I'm thinking of Christmas Day itself. Shops aren't open. It's like a deserted town. It, everything becomes weirdly Day. beautifully quiet. It is. For one day of the whole year, the whole world stops collectively and just enjoys the simple things in life. And that is it. That's it. It's great. I mean, apart from people who have to work. It's very full. Hold on. Very full. Giving gifts to one another. It's great to receive gifts from people. People. <laughs> it's, great. it's even more greater to give gifts to others. And so. that brings me on to my point, getting gifts. I like getting gifts. It's nice because I get things. Yeah, but also, as long yeah. as you return the favour. I don't think so. He always says it at the last minute, probably over January sales. I am March, late giving gifts, yeah, I am late giving gifts. So this year is uh, not too bad, are you? I'm just going to pretend you are correct because you're not. Um, <laughs> The classic tunes that take you way back. Is there a favourite Christmas song you like and it plays it in the shop? Actually, last Christmas, I gave you my heart, <laughs> but the very next day, you did take it back to the January sales, didn't you? All I want for Christmas is you. Oh, and you. The build-up. Let's be honest, the build-up is far more exciting than the actual thing on just about everything. 
I mean, let's be real. Friday night is the most part, exciting part of the weekend, with Sunday morning being the most depressing, knowing you've only got a few more hours before you go to work. This year, you got the whole of the weekend and Boxing Day. Dear Christmas God. Eve is on Friday. Okay. Christmas Day, Saturday. Okay. Well, my point more being, is metaphorically, isn't the build-up to Christmas far more exciting than the actual thing? I think so. I reckon. Yeah, when it comes down to so it. That's a pro and also a con. Doing nothing productive all day, and yet, at the end of the day, feeling like you've been very productive, accomplishing nothing. Because the whole point of the, of the day was to do nothing, and you achieved it. What a weirdly satisfactory feeling. Wrapping up warm, ooh, this is my favorite one. Wrapping up warm with the heaters on, and with a nice cozy blanket, and your new slippers. Nice hot chocolate and in hand. Oh. And, and, this sounds strange, but can I add to that, opening the window too? Because I like the combination between the cool breeze and the warm. Yeah, a bit of circulation, you know. Well, no, I was just more thinking. I just like the. the... I love getting cold and then getting warm. I'm like, I'm so cold. But Very. I'm so are warm. you having that coffee or are you going to put it to the side? Because it gives distract the like as well as me. Warm. Mind you, it's warm in here in this studio today, isn't it? Here's a tad, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling I'm heat. boiled. I've only put this jumper on because I look a state of Christmassy walks after the Christmas dinners. It's something special about those Christmas walks. It just feels so special in the air. I don't know what it is. Also, you're just with your family, yeah. getting the fresh air. and It's got yeah. Christmas air to it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you just gathering together. If anybody else put a thumbs up, right? If you agree that the air on Christmas Day is a totally different air, it's like Christmas air. It is. It's not about watching TV, right? It's not. But the stuff you get on TV that day is quality stuff to the point where you could record it and watch it later. I mean, think Can of I all, just stop you there? All, all Most the, of the stuff. I'm talking. All the classic episodes, the TV shows that you love, they reach their ultimate climax on that day. I mean, Gavin and Stacey return, EastEnders is Oh, like, stuff like best. that. I was talking about the films. Everything. Stop right there. Yeah. Most of the films that are being shown on Christmas Day, everyone's got that on DVD wow, and I tried to that. sell them. People being nice, you have to forget about the bad grudges, forget about that. It's like boys. a free pass day, isn't it? Yeah. You can say what you want to someone and they can't. Can't respond now, mind you. No, everybody's got to be nice, though, haven't they? Yeah, Lovely. you know, you got to be cheerful. Yeah. It's Jesus Day. Ooh. Yeah, everybody's got to celebrate him. It technically, he wasn't born actually on Christmas Day. We believe, to be honest, it sounds like it's more of summer, but it's an excuse to worship the birth of the one who saved us all. And in that case, I say party. Do you know what I mean? The children, they love everything. They love pulling the crackers off the tree, mm -hmm. or before dinner, you might have pulling crackers. Yeah. The lights, the Christmas trees, like, the Christmas dinner, <gasps> and more importantly, the presents. Plus, you don't have to get everybody for work as well, so you can just Good relax point. and sit in your pajamas all day. Bonus tip! Okay, we told you we'd let you know a fun fact about Christmas stockings I've got here. According to the good goodhousekeeping.com, hanging stockings started by accident. Legend have it, we hang uh, stockings by the chimney with care, thanks to a poor old man who didn't have enough money for his three daughters' dowries. Generous old Saint Nick dropped a bag of gold down their chimney one night after the girls had hung their freshly washed stockings to dry. That's where the gold ended up, and the tradition Stuff. Very interesting. Um, so be sure to share this video with somebody that you think loves Christmas or can't stand Christmas and needs a bit of cheering up because let's be honest, it's coming around anyway, so uh, ain't much you can do about it. Either. Subscribe and hit the, hit the notification, notification button. button. What you say, mate? Hey. <laughs> Hit the and notification it, button, please. Yeah. It's that time of season where we all have to just forget the past, move on, and bring in the new. As Care. And Bye. God bless you all.
They're astoundingly astonishing From the strikingly bewildering It's Carrie and Barry Ho, ho, ho I don't have a hat <laughs> But I have a subscribe button To put on my head.